Kenny, so mixed results yesterday. Eh? I mean, we had two really good days prior to that, and then yesterday maybe a little bit disappointing again. Eh? Yeah, it's. Uh, I think the worst part of it is, is that yeah, the front uh, side shelf broke, but I think it's five, six kilometers into the stage. You know, there's 118 kilometers uh, dune stage. You know, proper dunes, class one dunes, and then six kilometers in, uh, I broke the side shelf, went into a ditch. I think it was at the wrong angle and the car fell on the right, you know, on the nose as, as we came in. Nothing too serious from a technical point of view, but obviously at that moment, I obviously applied power and that, I think that broke the side shaft and then maybe a kilometer or two later, or damaged the side shaft, a kilometer or two later, the side shaft. I just realized we didn't know. I could hear something and then we realized, first we thought it might be the prop shaft again. You know, uh, you know, based on your reference a couple of days ago, but uh, then it was the side shaft we realized and we only had two wheel drive so yeah we did the whole stage in two wheel drive uh, got stuck once um, of course so by then already it's tuned up later and uh, the, the dunes are tuned up quite a bit and you're trying to look for traction on the side so you're going quite you know wide out and every turn so you can get as much momentum through and then we just got over a small hump you know but the car's unsettled a little bit and it just actually threw me a little bit off of where I wanted to be into a soft, soft patch we got stuck got out but luckily but once again no reverse uh, uh, because of the limited slip diff uh, and stuff like that but we got the sand ladders in uh, took us a while uh, to get the car out because you have to obviously jack the car up put the ladders in move a little bit then it gets stuck again but then you build a little bit of path but luckily you know they were there was an escape route eventually we got out you know then it was the rest of the bloody day in two-wheel drive, you know, and sickling, sickling, two sickling and you got to be so precise, you know, and I just, I, I just found second gear to be the best, you know, I okay. stuck to, you know, between first, second and third, but every time you want to go to third, you, you have almost too much speed, and then as soon as you hit something technical, then you don't have enough power, so eventually I just stuck to second, and this, you know, car, obviously we dropped the tire pressures down to 0.5 to give us enough, enough traction, or as much as possible traction, and then we just drove through the rest of the dunes. The last section obviously caught us in the dark because now we've lost time. We only started at two o'clock yeah. and uh, yeah, the, the sun sets just after five here. Yeah. Uh, but luckily it was only the last three or four kilometers that was really dark. Oh, okay. Lights was okay. And then it wasn't those dunes, those last sections of dunes weren't that tricky. You could still follow the road. But once again, two wheel drive, you really got to make sure you keep momentum through yeah. that. You can't slow down because as soon as you slow down, you might get stuck you really gotta keep it, keep and, it but yeah. Yeah, we're still here you know uh, yeah. but it, it's, it's frustrating you know but, so and really it's sort of like yeah. sort of two, two steps forward and two steps backwards because yeah. we moved our way up yeah. Yeah, last, yeah. up nice yeah. in the starting order now we yeah. pull them back again so yeah, yeah. so today the strategy is we got a hell of a fuel load yeah, yeah. and yeah. um and I suppose, but I suppose it's uh, the overtaking mm. will be easier now because you'll be in mm. the dunes am I correct yeah. yeah 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 luckily there's no dust yeah. Uh, the yeah, start of the chrono, 600 kilometers. So today we hope to do 400. They've got these four uh, or six bivouacs. Yeah. So if you look at the distances, uh, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll probably reach point C. There's okay. A, B, C, D, E, and F. Uh, that's all bivouac points. Yeah. You've got to stop at four o'clock wherever you are. So we'll so see the where we get. one you are to four o'clock, they exactly. you to sleep yeah. for the yeah, night. Yeah. 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 So I think I see that the, the pro guys says they'll, they'll be happy to reach point D. Okay. which is also the refueling point so yeah we'll probably let's hope for for sea yeah, be um, one behind, yeah. yeah yeah which is i think probably 50 kilometers i suppose uh, in these distances uh, yeah and, and today in the beginning i mean we full full load 450 liters of fuel uh, in the car i mean our fuel economy is almost down in these dunes one one kilometer maybe just over one kilometer liter so we'll be cutting it fine to get to our refueling point because we only carry 450 yeah. in the car, we got 400 kilometers to do. We still have to do the liaison yeah. from here, which is another 100 yeah. kilometers. So I think the air wheel use about 25 liters. Yeah, yeah. And then it's literally the whole day, you know, in the dunes. Uh, there is some um, wadis, I think they call them flat sections in, in between the big dunes, you know. But then, you know, you can maybe just relax a little bit there, take you know, uh, take your feel of the feet of the, the feet of the fuel trying to conserve a little bit but then it's in the dunes again you know so okay. we're, we're gonna have a long day yeah. and then, then tomorrow you're on your own hey you know no no assistance from the service crew yeah. 
yeah, okay. yeah we'll miss you guys yeah. we'll see you tomorrow hopefully tomorrow early uh, tomorrow yeah. evening or tomorrow yeah. afternoon kind of stuff i think if all goes well and we get to point c uh we'll probably let's say 300 and 300 so tomorrow we'll probably but at least we can start at seven tomorrow morning, morning. Okay. and um yeah then we'll and then all the bivvies will be i mean i can only imagine there'll be a lot of people at all of them yeah. so we'll be able to get going at seven or just after seven and then another you know, i suppose five six hours but yeah let's maybe we can recruit yeah. uh, some lost uh, precious yeah. lost time yeah. and, uh, but you enjoy the sand they enjoy the yeah the yeah absolutely yeah and, yeah, and i was looking so forward confident to in the yeah. i mean yesterday was so nice you know we started off nice you know <laughs> we had some of those uh, side by sides in front of them we actually caught them quite quickly and stayed with them and stuff like that and then obviously that but maybe i was just you know pushing a bit too hard and, uh, and actually was really going to take it easy yesterday yeah. and uh, but you know once again that red mist when you get in that racing mode you we were going nicely uh, but maybe just that tightly a bit too aggressively that yeah. we obviously damaged the uh, the prop oh, not the prop shop but that was a real unfortunate yeah. thing i mean the car yeah. just landed wrong yeah i yes. mean and it, yeah got a little bit damaged yeah. with, the, with the bad luck of racing eh? hey this car, yeah it's, <laughs> it's teaching yeah. it's teaching me a lot of other things yeah we've had yeah. our fair yeah. share of, of yeah. bad luck on this one eh? yeah yeah but it just shows you you've got to actually be so cautious all the time and be so precise that uh, any any anything almost you got to know that everything if, if there's anything that can go wrong it will go wrong, will go wrong unless you you know yeah. super cautious and and some luck as well you know but yeah it's black we're looking black. forward to the well, second half good see luck you tomorrow see you yeah. Yeah. okay you, thanks Ciao.